Hey guys, we have the new Ryobi OnePlus HP 18 volt, three inch multi-material tool. This is gonna be interesting because it reminds me a ton of the rigid tool. We're gonna to go through this guy, show you some similarities, get into it by cutting, and generally see what happens when we use this tool. If you haven't seen some of our other reviews on some of these tools, you should check them out. But for right now, stay tuned. This new Ryobi HP Brushless Compact 3-inch Multi-Material Cutting Tool is part of Ryobi's new HP line that has an LED light up front that not only functions as a way to see what's happening, but it also functions as an indicator of what's happening with the tool. For example, if it flashes three times, you have a low battery, six times it's excessive force, nine times it's over temp. So that is nice to see that Ryobi's electronics are protecting the tool and the battery so you get longer runtime out of them. This is a 19,500 RPM machine, takes a three inch wheel, you get two arbors, you got a three eighths and a seven sixteenths. Why? First, Home Depot sells Dremel discs. So if you're in most Home Depots, you're gonna find the three inch disc for Dremels. They will fit this. They are a 7 16 arbor. If you are anywhere else in the world, you're gonna find a 3 8 arbor for this. So it's nice that they included both. Your zero to 19,500 RPMs is a very easily adjusted per your variable speed trigger. You have a forward and reverse, so it depends on what direction you're cutting. You have an arbor lock up front and an onboard tool to change your cutting wheel. Now this onboard tool just simply slides in here and it's fairly stable until you start pounding it, it'll come out. That will wear over time, I guarantee it. Uh, it's one of those things where, I mean, you can turn it inside there. So, it falling out in a matter of time is just inevitable. Your guide for the bottom, simply adjusted. I like that, just a simple turn. Everything else here is pretty straightforward and similar to the rigid. If you're cutting in weird places, you can adjust this head so you can get to the right place to deal with whatever cut you need. Very straightforward, very similar to the rigid. We did have a problem with the rigid where this nut locked itself into place once when we were cutting the wrong direction. Totally my fault. Um, but the, the nut shouldn't have locked up like it did. So if you're interested in that, check out our review on the rigid. And then we did a follow up to it also because we were physically stuck and couldn't change blades. Let's get out, see what this tool can do. So we've got this metal stud. Got our little machine here in forward. This should cut through this thing without any issue. Obviously it wants to jump if you go a little bit too fast. Find that kind of true of all these little saws. Works fine. This this uh, cutting disc on this one, uh, the rigid that we had actually had a disc that was out of round. This one seems to be pretty good. Just pushing a little bit too hard. Obviously, we got a cutout. I do not see any blinking lights there. That's interesting. Try it again. Ah, we are not working. Okay, we had to pull the battery. Let's try that again. Full battery. No LED lights. No nothing. That's disappointing because I'd like to see the overload in that's what they advertise this tool is going to tell you. So it's disappointing not to see it. Let's just make a cut here. My fault again, man, sorry. Yeah. 
I'm trying to push this tool a little bit too fast and it's getting hung up a little bit and that is all user error on me. So we got this guy working. Let's try to just jam it out again and we should get nine flash, no, we should get six flashes of too much force. Nothing. We undo the battery, go back in, just even to the wood. Lights on, light didn't go off that time. It's interesting. No light flashing, but when we do it in the wood, don't have to remove the battery. Let's uh, switch up blades here and try something else. This is definitely not something that I'm good at. We got a ceramic tile here. This is just an inexpensive one. It should cut super simple. I see a lot of people going backwards on cutting the tile. I'm still in forward. I think that's the wrong way, but uh, we're gonna just give her hell here and see what happens. Obviously that worked quite well. I don't think pushing tile or pushing this in tile is going to be something that you'd want to do. Let's just make another quick cut. Nice, controllable, right there. No complaints. This is a drywall and plastic wheel. Drywall would be interesting. I mean, incredibly dusty. I imagine some people use it. I don't know. I'd be love to hear that in the comments. Plastic is interesting to cut with this because this wheel will get really hot going through here and it'll stick. But you kind of have to feather it, figure out what kind of plastic you have, and play the game. Let's see what happens. So I'm probably quarter on the trigger here. So if we were to just rip this thing, You can see it builds up a little bit of heat there and it'll just melt. But at the same point, it still cuts well. So if you were using this to cut vinyl siding or anything like that, which I imagine some people will use it for, um, it cuts well, you just gotta be careful of the heat. So these tools are not my jam, obviously. Uh, you can see I'm not overly experienced with cutting through different things and I fumble around through it. Uh, I can see where a lot of people would use them and it's a fairly light duty tool that small, compact and easy for people to carry around. I can see where guys doing tile would really like it because they don't have to get out a big saw if they're just doing little stuff, right? That's super cool. What? disappointed me on this one, and of course this is sample size one of one, uh, I didn't get any LED lights like I was supposed to when we had the overpowering. And again, we have the instructions here for this. In excessive force should have gave me six flashes, and uh, it tells me in here too that if you know the tool cuts out and overloads or it gets hot, you should remove the battery and put it back in. I don't think we were at the point where anything was hot or warm and the battery's fully charged. So I wish that the HP function, the additional electronics would have worked in this guy. That would have been cool to see the six flashes or whatever it was and just say, okay, the tools realizing, hey, you got to cut out and boom, here's what's happening. The communication wasn't working in this one. I don't know. 
I'm not going to continue to push this tool harder and harder to see if anything smokes on it because I don't think that this tool in any way was designed to be pushed or forced like a grinder. I mean we can put a grinding wheel on it and just go but this is not the same type of thing and again a little bit out of my wheelhouse but uh, always fun to look at the similarities between this guy and the subcompact rigid are just stupid similar. So really cool that uh, the Ryobi guys are going to get out, get something that's nice and brushless like this that's similar to what might be out there for rigid. I like that. I like the fact that you do get three wheels with it so of course you don't have to buy something right off the bat but these are going to wear out fairly fast and I'm especially liking that you can get the 3 8 inch Arbor adapter because now you can go anywhere. Now you can hit Amazon. Now you can do anything and get different wheels at a good price and not have to go back and buy just the Dremel ones that you find at Home Depot. So this little adapter that they send with it so you can use 3 8 also is a huge plus in my opinion. I like having options, right? So check out the other tools. The only ones that we have left to go over are going to be the drill and the impact driver. I have left these to the end because I wanted to learn everything about the other ones, how they reacted, because we're going to really push these guys. Ryobi's been saying these are good for the job site. So job site tools like this are going to get pushed, they're going to get beat, they're going to be used hard, and that's what we're going to do to these, the drill and impact driver that's coming up. So look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you see that one. Give us a like in this video. And as always, we thank you for your time. Have a great day.